Hello YouTube, this is Delicious X here and today I'm going to be doing a short rampy tutorial on um, how to put movies or basically uh, maybe you could say animated backgrounds into your rampy code. Now first of all, what you're going to need is this rampy.exe obviously and potentially this if you haven't already made your um, movie so once you've made your movie hopefully you've got it in like um, I don't know somewhere uh, <laughs> then firstly what we're going to have to do is convert your movie file to a .ogv file okay now I found this amazing one online and this is it it is called um, online convert, well, online hyphen convert.com. And I think it's the best one that I've found so far because it converts such a big range of um, file formats. So we're going to go to this link, open it in the description. I'm going to click here, convert a file to OGV. Now you can convert any type of um, file already. Uh, however, I do, well, Rempy supports all. Um, file formats when it comes to, well, most file formats when it comes to um, movies. However, OGV gives the best quality. Um, I've done this before and other file formats such as .mp4 can give quite a bit of lag to your um, code when you actually play the game. So we're going to convert it to OGV because it's the best quality. And we, let's find the movie that I had da, 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 here. There it is. It's dot mp4. Uh, it's only four seconds long or so. Um, uh, okay, yeah, then convert file. Alright. Meanwhile, you can open up mp. It's done. Now, uh, oh, shit, no, I didn't mean to click it. I'm going to show it in the folder. Show it in the folder. Okay, cool. Alright, so it does, it's not going to have a thumbnail. Don't know why, but yeah, it's kind of awkward. I hate stuff with no thumbnails. Then we're going to open up Rempy and create a new project. Well, I'm just going to call it create a new project. Uh, oh, what? okay. Um, tutorial. Continue, uh, okay, whatever, it doesn't really matter. All right, and open script. Now we are going to have to define um, the movie the same way that you would define an image. All right, and we're going to do it in a particular way. We're going to use this, all right? Copy, paste. Basically, what this means is that we've called, think of it as a variable, so the image is called movie now, and this is basically the screen size of our game, okay, so that means that the background is going to fit the exact screen size, this, usually this is set to zero, but for my game I had to set um, white anchor to um, 100, because it kind of determines the position of where your, um, your movie is in regards to, um, like, Okay, you'll see, you'll see. So we're gonna put it at zero, and then if it needs readjusting, then I'll go through that. Um, so now we've got our movie. We've declared what a movie is. We haven't said what the movie is, as in we haven't made reference to the file name, but we now know what a movie is. Now, um, now that we've done that, after a start, where are we gonna put it? We're gonna, let's just put it here. Um, we're going to put in our movie using this this is just the file name that I used before in the last time I used it however um, what did we call ours? We call ours has a really weird name obviously we're going to need to move this to our um, RMP folder which I have to find uh, da, 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 da. oh shiz uh, well I have no idea where it is. Am I supposed to do this? What's going on? Oh, yeah, it's here. Whew. 
<sighs> tutorial two game images and put it in here. We're going to rename this as well. <coughs> Sorry, um, because it's way too long. I'm going to call this flowers because that's what it is. Flowers.ogb. Okay. And then we put this in the script, we rename the script. Uh, make sure that it's exactly the same, what's going on? The, exactly the same name. Okay, I don't know what I've done. And then it should show movie. And then we'll, oops, no, shiz. Then we'll save it. And then when we play it, It should work. Start game. There we go. Background. Now this is what I meant when it comes to the white anchor and stuff. Um, basically it doesn't quite fit the screen. So that's why I had to have a white anchor of 100. Uh, yes, I want to quit. Uh, we're going to go back into the script. And we're going to change the white anchor because the white anchor moves it up. Oops. The white anchor will move up the image. Um, these ones move to the left and right. I'm assuming that this one therefore moves down. Also, I forgot to say, but putting loop at the end basically makes sure that the flower, that the movie is played in a loop until you say, um, maybe here, um, hide movie. Fade. All right. Save. Let's launch that again. Start game. And no more randomness up here. It fits exactly. And it should fade. There we go. Fantastic. Alright, so thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, I will put the link of the uh, website that we used here. So, yeah.